Hi, my name is Ed Sowell, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a J album um, using the uh, Windows app and uh, then upload that, uh, uh, that album to your personal web page. Um, obviously, to uh, do the latter, you've got to have a personal uh, web page and you have to have uh, uh, the credentials uh, necessary for uh, uh, uploading things to that site. Uh, so you might want to, um, if, if you don't know those things, you might want to get together with uh, the um, uh, hosting service that you use for your uh, website. In my case, I use SiteGround. And by the way, my uh, personal web page is a uh, WordPress uh, um, document so uh, anyway here uh, uh, here we go the first thing that you want to do is to uh, upload uh, I'm sorry to open uh, J album and um, it's off your screen here but I'm clicking on the uh, uh, the link to uh, J album on my desktop launch it here and this shows the uh, that I'm using the latest version of J album <coughs> and this is the opening screen that you get and at this point um, one can add photos to the page uh, one at a time by using this ad or uh, a far better way is to uh, uh, load um, all of your photos um, to uh, the page at the same time. So uh, to do the latter, let me bring up here uh, this, or it shows where I've um, put all of the photos that I'm going to um, use in this example uh, called Fruit Example. Um, they're in my Photos directory. And uh, uh, this uh, technique is, is um, important in, in two ways one that's it's it has all the photos that you need all in one place making them easily accessible and the other thing equally important is that it's completely independent of uh, uh, the uh, uh, the process that we're using here to, to create the uh, the, the album etc uh, in other words if you sh you should have to uh, if you make a mistake and you've got to to stop uh, your uh, process of uh, creating the album and and delete it <laughs> just to start over you you're not going to lose your precious uh, uh, photograph so you select these by holding the, the uh, control key and clicking tell you oops I, I inadvertently opened it okay so they're all selected and now I just drag that over there and uh, uh, they will then be uh, put there like this and there they all are <coughs> so we've succeeded in the first step which is uh, uh, getting the, the photographs into the album now the next thing we have to do is select a skin a skin is a, a J album term referring to uh, a, a an add-on you might say to J album itself uh, that um, has been developed by by uh, J album um, uh, experienced people, um, and um, there are dozens and dozens of them there, and you just have to pick the one that you want, and they they differ in the look and feel that the user experiences, so you're free to choose others, but I prefer. Um, Adam, uh, it's it's uh, always up to date and and uh, it has um, it's one of the type that uh, of uh, skins that uh, allows the the uh, created album to be viewed equally well on uh, on cell phones or a desktop PC. So <coughs> we've uh, uh, set the the skin there, it shows in the skin. And the next thing we want to do is uh, some settings. So we click this and we see a, a, a menu of settings up here. 
but we're only concerned with two, general and pages. Uh, and let's start with pages here. And uh, uh, it requires that you input uh, the uh, address of your site. And what you see here is an example of that. And uh, um, in my case, it's HTTPS colon slash slash and then my website name e f s o w e l l dot u s and um, then uh, backslash now that uh, that structure that's h t t p s uh, and then the uh, uh, the website uh, uh, home address is uh, is for me, you, you of course have to put uh, your your ears there in a, in a a structure that's suitable for your your um, uh, hosting service, and you can put uh, anything you want down here. Let's just say my site home page. Uh, the the purpose of this, by the way, is that when you create uh, an album. Uh, it, it gets dis displayed on the uh, on the user's screen. <laughs> uh, there is a a little icon at the top that's the shape of a little house, and and that represents a home. <laughs> that is uh, the uh, uh, the home site uh, of your your uh, web page. Uh, uh, and and so what that is the reason for having that little icon there is so that uh, they, uh, once the user has viewed your uh, uh, your uh, particular album, by clicking the little icon, uh, house-shaped icon, he or she can get back to your site home, uh, which is usually, you know, what what a, a person would want to do because the, these uploaded albums are referenced in the the document that uh, resides at your web page. In my case, it would be a WordPress uh, uh, document. Uh, and, and so uh, presumably after looking at, at that album, then by clicking the little icon, he goes, he or she goes back to uh, the home, home page for the site. So, so uh, something else can be done uh, at the site. <coughs> so having done both of these settings, then let's type the, or click the OK button down here, like that. <coughs> and uh, so now we've um, uh, uh, set the skin and we've set the uh, uh, the settings, and uh, uh, we can um, then make the album by clicking here, like this, and. It up here it says that it's completed and that uh, uh, offers a preview here. Uh, I'm not going to click the preview because uh, it uh, uh, is a uh, kind of a full page kind of uh, display and, and it doesn't fit in my recording window. So it's, uh, uh, but when you do it yourself, uh, you of course be able to, to review it. And the review just, you know, shows uh, uh, what's, what's in it. Uh, so, uh, Let's see where we're we're headed now. Oh, we've we've done the make down here. So the next thing we have to do, and the final thing we have to do, is to upload it. So uh, in this setting down here, you're off this menu. You see there's a a, um, uh, a uh, she, she. what am I looking? At? Well, let's just go up here and use this one. There it is, Upload Manager. So let's click the Upload Manager. And now this leads you through the process of, of uh, everything you have to do to upload. And the very first thing you've got to do is to uh, uh, present to your hosting service the credentials, uh, the, 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 uh, the site address and the credentials, uh, the permissions, if you will, uh, necessary to uh, 
upload things to it. In other words, your service pr provider is not going to allow just uh, anyone to upload things to your site. Uh, that would be rather chaotic, wouldn't it? So uh, these these things, if you don't know what these parameters are, you just have to get in touch with your hosting service and tell them what you're trying to do and ask them uh, uh, what the uh, the type is and the server name, et cetera, et cetera. So now if we click this, then it's preparing to preview. So it uh, takes a minute there to do all that stuff. There we go. Okay, now, by the way, if, if it... Uh, if that hadn't worked, uh, uh, if the connection didn't work, you would have been uh, informed. Now the question is uh, where to put this. Um, some people uh, put it right here, that is at the uh, public web as a, as a folder in the public, uh, uh, at the public root uh, directory. That little globe there means that it's the, the public uh, root directory. But uh, my, my preference is to not put it at that level. I like to have all of my, my um, uh, photo albums uh, in one place. And uh, I use for that one place a, a folder called photo albums, naturally. So that's photo-albums. Well, you can choose any name you want for that uh, folder. Uh, the uh, peop most people are doing it these days are using something like this, photo-albums. So what I'm going to do is to uh, click that. Oops, and, uh, for some reason it drops one lower than that. So I'm going to put it back there. And now... I'm going to do this little click right up here. You see that, that plus in the folder signs? It means to add a new folder there. So if you click that, then lo and behold, a, a, a new folder appears where uh, that's named fruit example. So that's, that's where this, uh, uh, this album is going to be uploaded to. So now down here, naturally, you'll press the upload. And... Um, it's going to stop here and say, hey, wait a minute. Are you sure this is where you want to put it? So you study this really carefully. And, and if it doesn't look just like this, uh, then, then you've got to go back and see what you did wrong. So um, this, this, since that does look OK to me, I'm going to click OK here. And fingers crossed, it's uploading, it's uploading, it's uploading. And pretty soon it's going to be all all finished there, and then lo and behold, there it is. Now this is full page, and you're seeing just the uh, uh, part that'll fit into my recording window. But it does obviously show the f the fruit. It shows that's what your example is, and it shows this little house icon. Now, if by by uh, hovering over that down at the very left hand corner of your screen, it doesn't show. Here because it's not in your in my recording window, but uh, by hovering over that in the lower left-hand side of your of the window that's open on your computer, you'll see what that uh, uh, what the underlying um, uh, URL is there, and that is correct. So clicking this is taking it to my home page, uh, and uh, this is. Uh, me here, and this is my lovely wife on a, a trip to the Grand Canyon a, f uh, a few years back, we'll say. So uh, that's it. Uh, I hope that uh, that's uh, helpful to you. And uh, if not, uh, um, uh, let me know if, if you like it. Why don't you let me know that too? Look me up, and uh, I'll be hoping to hear from you.